Hey guys, today I'm going to be looking at all the anime that's coming out this fall. And I'm going to be telling you if I'm going to be watching it or if I'm going to be skipping it. Some of them you can kind of guess if I'm skipping it or watching it. Some of them might surprise you though. And this video will probably be fairly long, so be warned. For uh, This is going to be a long video. I might cut it up if it gets too long though. I don't know. Alright. 3 Gatsuno Lion 2. Will I be watching this? And the answer is yes. Because I am actually halfway through the first season and I mostly like it. So I'm going to be checking this one out. And it's from Shaft. I'll, I'll have a fondness for Shaft. So I will be watching that one. Anime Guitarist from Wow World. I've never heard of it. Alright. The anime centers on Manoa Asagaya, a new high school student in Sakaneko Private High School. Despite being a novice to anime, Manoa's classmate, Arisu Kamelagusa, that's a funky name, invites her to make an anime research club at school. Through conversations with her classmate, Miko Koizinji, also a weird name, as well as various anime-loving upperclassmen, Manoa gradually gets hooked on anime, while they stand against the student council's uh, continuous efforts to disband their club. When they ignore the impending end of the world, they talk about, wait, what? End of the world. They talk about anime, whether in Akaba or real life, sacred place, anime settings, or the hot spring. I'm not sure if I'm going to be. I don't know. I'll, I'll check it out. Like, uh, it has my interest a little bit because of the ending the world thing. I don't know. And it's. Well, they don't really know. Black Clover. I'm actually surprised this is going to be only 13 episodes, honestly. Asta is a young boy who dreams of becoming the greatest mage in the kingdom. Only one problem, he can't use any magic. Luckily for Asta, he receives the incredibly rare five-leaf clover grimoire that gives the power anti-magic. Okay. Can someone who can't use magic really become the wizard king? One thing's for sure, Asta will never give up. I actually kind of like Black Clover. It's super generic shonen, but... Sometimes you actually want some super generic shonen, and this fits the bill perfectly. Special clothes, fairy tales ending, and you know, this is the replacement pretty much. Alright, um, and it's Studio uh, Pirate, so they're pretty good about making good shows. I'm just surprised it's only 13 episodes, though. Uh, Alright, Blend S by A1 Pictures. That's interesting. The story centers on a girl named Micah who gets a job at a cafe where all the waitresses are given certain attributes, such as Sundir, or little sister, to embody while serving customers. The manager asks Micah to be the Do 5, or Do S, or whatever, extreme sadist waitress, so she will have to adopt a dominant and aggressive pers uh, persona. I'm actually probably going to check that out, because I, I like comedies and I can pretty much tell it's going to be a comedy. Boku no Kanajo ga Majimi Sugiru Shoujo Bitch na Ken. I actually read the manga for this, so I'm going to tell you I'm watching it. With nothing left to lose, ordinary high school student Haruka Shinozaki confesses to beautiful, diligent class representative Aki uh, Akiho Kosaka, and to his surprise, she accepts. Kosaka takes dating as seriously as she does everything else, but does not quite get it. She pragmatically suggests activities that are too sexual. She's basically, like, I don't know. She, everything she does, she makes like a sex joke about. And her family's the same, like her mom's the same way. So, it's a hilarious manga. So, I'm hoping it carries over into anime properly. Um, the other show's... Like Lee have been able to do it for comedy, so I think they can do it. Card Fight Vanguard GZ. Fifth season of Card Fight Vanguard. Mm, I think I've seen three episodes of the show, period. So won't be watching it. Well, I mean, I might one day if I ever binge watch Card Fight, but. Eh. Eh. Classical Lloyd 2 by Sunrise. Uh, it's the second season of Classoid, which I'd never watched a single episode of, because it's musical. Um, I mean, I guess it's good enough to get a second season, so... M maybe I'll check it out. I'm gonna scroll up, because my my window here. 
Alright, um, code realize so say no himi gimme. Hmm. By MSC. I've never heard of that company. Well, maybe I haven't. Restricted to an abandoned mansion on the outskirts of London in fulfillment of a promise to her father. Lonely Cardia lives day to day, isolated from the world. Her body carries a deadly poison that rots or melts anything her skin touches, prompting to the locals to call her monster. One day, her quiet solitude is interrupted as the royal guards break in to capture her. It is then that Cardia meets Arsene Lupin, a chivalrous, uh, chivalrous, I cannot say that word, thief, who helps her escape the soldier's clutches. She soon finds herself on the journey with Lupin to locate her father who holds the answer to her mysterious condition. It seems interesting. Um, it's obviously a, um, a Tomei game adaption. Because if you look at <laughs> that, it's all guys. So, yep. Can't wait for that. I don't, I don't know if I'm going to actually watch it, though. But I might. Uh, give it a shot. Dia Horizon. A, multi, a multimedia project by Square Enix titled The Horizon. The first part of the project will be an anime. Okay, well, it thought it would be a lot. I see a robot. Square Enix, so I'll give it a shot. It comes out October sometime, so, hmm. Dice Iray by a company I've never heard of. It's a visual novel adaption. Uh, May 1st, 1945, Berlin as the Red Army raises the Soviet flag. A group of Nazi officers conduct a ritual using the slaughter of the city to bring back the LDO Superman, who whose coming would be will bring the world's destruction. God damn it. Their success remains unknown. Present day, Suwara Hara, uh, Suwahara City, Ren Fuji spends his days at the hospital due to a violent fight with his best friend Shiro. He he tries to value what hit what he has left to him but he is haunted by Shira's word, uh, words everyone who remains in the city eventually loses their minds and a recurring dream of guillotine and murders and black clad, black clad knights pursuing them this sounds very weird and I don't know how it actually like fits with the first bit but I will check this out it has a interesting premise I like the uh, 1945 setting so I don't know about the other part Another part that makes no sense. Dynamic chord. I can tell it's a music show, like a uh, anime. So, eh. the project follows the mu uh, musical careers and personal lives of several bands under the Dynamic Chord Agency and music label. Meh. See a pirate though. It's, I mean, it's something. Might be good. Not sure yet. Goro, Vanishing Line from Mappa. Mappa's pretty good. I kind of like them. The uh the anime story is set in a prosper uh, prosperous city named Russell City. Even if the city celebrates its success and consp uh, a conspiracy that threatens to shape it, shake uh God I cannot say anything right now. Shake its world has been set in motion. A man named Sword is the first to hear the earliest stirrings of the plot and throws himself into a shadow war to in order to expose it. His only clue is the clue, uh, keyword El Dorado. He meets Sophie, a woman searching for her older brother who's left her with only a message with the same word, El Dorado. The sword having also lost his younger sister in the past. Both are drawn together by the word and work together to find out its meaning. Um, I mean, I know what Garu is, so I might check it out. Garu's interesting, at least. Uh, Gintama... Shinsaku. It's the sixth season of Gintana. I don't really watch it. I respect it, but I don't watch it. Himoto Amaru Chan R. It's the second season of Himoto. I will be watching this. I like Himoto, actually. I think it's entertaining. Because I like comedy more than no, no, like usual. At least I do not like comedy as much, but I've been into it a lot. The second season of Hozoki no Retsu. I'm not going to I'm just going to read the, that because I already seen the name. Studio Dean. I don't know anything about it. I have, I'm pretty sure I never watched the first season. So, Alright. Something new. Hosoki no Kuni from Orange. Never. I don't know Orange, but see what it's about. 
In the distant future, a new life form called Hoseki gems are born. The 28 Hoseki must fight against the moon dwellers who want to attack them and turn them into decorations. Thus, each gem is assigned a role such as a fighter or a medic. Hmm. Though he hopes to fight the moon dwellers, Fos is a gem who is given no assignment till the gem's master Adamantine asks him to edit a natural history magazine. What? I don't... I... What? <laughs> I will check it out because this description is weird. Emoto Sai Iriba Lee from Silverlink. Hmm, I like the I like Silverlink quite a bit. The story follows the everyday life of Itsuki, a novelist, a novelist, and modern day Pygmalion, whose work, uh, who works day in and day out to create the ultimate younger sister. He's surrounded by various other characters, a beautiful genius writer who loves him. A big socially classmate from college, a fellow male writer, a sadistic tax accountant, and his editor. They're all looked after by Itsuki's perfect younger stepbrother, Shihiro, who has a serious secret. Let me guess it. Got, uh, he's actually a she? Hmm, who knows? Oh no. Alright, Infinity Force. Ha, huh. what a, what a pun. Uh, it's a Tatsunoko production, so it's going to be a Gotcha Man type thing. A full 3D CG anime project to celebrate the 55th anniversary of the Tatsunoko Productions. The anime has a different story from the original manga. That doesn't tell me anything, but cool. But Gotcha Man, because you can kind of tell the guys here. But, I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to check it out. I mean, I might. Inu Yashiki. Uh, from MAPPA. I already know I'm going to watch this. It's from the same creator as Gantz, so I like Gantz mostly. Ishiro Inuyashiki is down on his luck. While only 58 years old, his uh, geriatric looks often have him written off as a pathetic old man by the world around him, and he's constantly ignored and disrespected by his family, despite all that he's done to support them. On top of everything else, his doctor has revealed that he has cancer and it appears that he has little time left in this world. But just when it seems things couldn't get any worse, a blinding light in the night sky strikes the earth where Ishiro stands. He later wakes up to find himself unscathed, but he soon starts to notice that there's something different, different about himself. And um, it's it's actually pretty interesting. And this is probably the thing I'm looking forward to the most this season. So I think it's gonna be good. Itsudati Bokura no Koi wa Tensium Data. I guess ten centimeter. From Lay Deuce, I don't know that company at all. Adolescent Romance takes another twist with the announcement of a TV anime adaption based on the Ko Koku Haku Joko Linkai Fist Your Love Committee series of vocaloid songs by Honeyworks. Ah, uh, sure. I probably won't check that out because it's a vocaloid music thing. Uh, just because from Pine Jam. Okay. The original anime Just Because focuses on Setley performing the feelings of a group of high school students nearing graduation. Near the end of the second semester of the third year, when students have very little time in high school left or are just waiting for graduation, the appearance of a new transfer student begins to change what remains of their high school lives just as they were about to graduate. Uh, I don't know if I don't think I'm going to watch it because. This just doesn't sound that interesting. I might check it out if there's some clips or something that comes out for it. But from that, it's just, eh, drama. Junie Tyson. Uh, from Grafa Nika. Huh, that's an interesting company. It's from a light novel. Twelve, year, uh, twelve warriors who are burdened with the names of the twelve Chinese uh, Zerdet members fight with each other's lives and pride at the stake. I'll to grant just one wish. Um, okay. Sounds a lot like fate. Uh, I'll check it out because I like the Battle Royal type things, so. Uh, Kekai Sensen and Beyond from Bones. That's good. I like Bones. It's just the second season of Kekai Sensen, though. And I still have yet to watch the final two episodes of that because they had some weird setup with that 
I don't know. I don't like the way they did it, but I haven't watched it. All right, Kino no Tabi, the Beautiful World, the anime series. Uh, this a redo of the whole series. The story follows the travels of Kino, a young adventurer who rides a talking motorcycle named Hermes. They explore the uh, people and cultures of different places throughout their adventures, spending more than three days at each location. It's actually, something I'm actually looking forward to. Uh, because I didn't know this was actually a redo of the whole thing or just a continuation of the older series that they had. So, I think it's an OVA series. Uh, that's it for this one. I'm gonna do another video. I don't want this to be too long because no one's gonna watch a whole hour long, 30 minute long thing for it. So, in the next one, I will cover uh, another like 10, 15, 20. I don't know how long, about 15 minutes worth of stuff, I guess. So, see you then. Peace out.